Yeah. Yes, sir. High school boy football look this season. People them ready, you know. All right then, big up, man in cup. Only for your shield, you make we link up. We watch the champions cup, Ben Francis. Walk a cup, which team are win the championship this season. Yo, it's a one day for school, I got finish the league and beat now. All right, let's talk some schoolboy football from the land of wood and water. Jamaica Group F in the Issa Manning Cup competition taking center stage today with two matches live on Sportsmax platforms. You just show a shot of the Jamaica College versus Excelsior game. That was the feature game. That one ending 2-2. Yeah, so that means that Jamaica College remain top of the table. But before that, we had Ascot High taking on Pembroke High. And it was Ascot who came away with the win. DJ Williams was on commentary and he has those highlights. Ascot who really applied most of the pressure in this game wave after wave of chance after chance. This was in the first half when they couldn't get the better of their opposition. That was a really good chance as well to take the lead. And I think this was the best chance for Pembroke Hall in this one. Really good goalkeeping, however. Ascot again kept on flying forward. Second half, they started to assert their dominance even more. Kept on flying forward. Some good efforts there, testing Pembroke Hall and their resolve. But eventually the goal would come. Swung in, not cleared well. And the danger man Again, whipping this one in at the back post. Again, not cleared well enough. It was an awkward finish, but an effective one. And that's the goal that gave Ascot their second win in this season's Manning Cup. Their second 1-0 win, as a matter of fact. And they're on to six points in this group. And that's all she wrote in this one. That was the KFC match highlights yeah there you have it ascot winning by a goal to nil an important win for them because it really does give them a shot going forward in this group they move into second position with that it's their second win of the season so they'll feel pretty proud about how they are going in the competition so far yeah um not the most exciting football match i've seen but i'm sure ascot won't mind they have a win yeah and you have to remember ricardo that jc had beaten ascot high 11 nil so to be able to recover from that um sort of thumping would have been very very important so one goal or two goals ascot high would take it and take all the points and keep moving forward pembroke high though the school that uh, danielle went to our interactive producer what's happening to them he keeps coming into the office and telling me um barry you watch this watch this um pembroke high is going to do well and then i don't know what's happening you all need to get a win for his sake well i think for Pembroke Hall to be in the competition in and of itself is is significant. It's, I agree. As far as I'm concerned, a step in the right direction. I remember a, a long time ago, well, it's actually not so long ago, when I played high school cricket playing against them. Um, but I don't think that their sport programs have been as consistent as they would like it to be. So for them to be competing in the Manning Cup, um, and although they lost today, it was a very close game. They yes. lost by a goal to nil and they would feel that they gave a pretty good account of themselves on international television as well because I can only imagine that it must have been nerve-wracking for a lot of those players um, being on television in that manner for the first time. I mean, these are youngsters. It's significant and so i think they did pretty well today yeah i just want to tell the viewers that you know because i did not go to school in jamaica like it's new for me like when we talk ssfl i know the teams i know their history they've been dominant for quite some time so like you know when i hear about pembroke hall and the way how daniel paints the picture to me it's as if you know they're a top 
uh, sporting school, so I'm expecting to see goals. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he is right. They are a top sporting school in Pembroke Hall. Okay. Yes, so I'm they... new to this, but I'm getting it. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> anyhow, the feature match was Jamaica College, the 31-time champions, taking on Excelsior High themselves, former champions of the Manning Cup, the Walker Cup knockout as well. They've won the Olivier Shield. And yeah, this was expected to be a big one and it lived up to its billing. It ended 2-2. Let's get the highlights. The Jay Williams has them again. So much happened in this game and it started from pretty early out. Excelsior, the earlier protagonist. And it was this man, Shadika Wizard, who provided that thrust. Struck the bar early. Ferocious strike. Jamaica College. They started to grow into the game, and this man started to grow into the game. Dylan John. A real warning sign in the first half. And then again, Shadika Wizard hitting the crossbar. So, so close to bulging the net. And then in the second half, it was a mistake actually. Jamari Gordon had a pretty good game. Slipped up. Dylan John coolly slotted home. Up until then, you can say Jamaica College were second best. And their captain, he stepped up. One more time on the finish. Really good finish. He was telling them to calm down. Maybe his team got a bit too calm. Shadika Wizard down the right hand side. Cross in. And it broke extremely kindly to Kimarley Scott. Really good finish right in the corner. Really, really good finish. As you can see, it literally stitched up in the corner of the net. And Excelsior, they were right back in it. And then some. Their fans knew it. And shortly after, the and then some turned into quite a literal meaning. Racing through on goal. It was a mistake. It was a mistake by Nathaniel Aiken. But it was a good finish nonetheless. Through the legs. The Marley Williams. Excelsior at that point. 2 1 up. But then this free kick changed it all. They appeal for the handball and they got it. Yeah, that's a stonewall penalty. And Dylan John calmly put that one away. Four goals on the season now for Dylan John. He's flying early on. And that's how the goals would end, but chances were still to come. Huge save this. Jamari Gordon. And then one more time for the crossbar on that end. Wow. And Sharda Gibbs almost winning it for Jamaica College. KFC highlights. Yeah, one could say quite sumptuous there. Uh, quite a match. It had pretty much everything. Good goals, bad goalkeeping, ball hitting the crossbar, the upright, left and right. At the end of it, Jamaica College 2, Excelsior 2. And this is what it means for the Group F table then. Jamaica College still atop the table with 7 points. They are now 1 ahead of Ascot on 6 points after that win today. Ascot, Excelsior in 3rd on 4 points. But notice that Excelsior have played just 2 matches. And that means they have the opportunity to join Jamaica College if they can win their game in hand. And the expectation is that they will win that game in hand. 
Yeah, so that's that for our schoolboy football segment, all of Jamaica. More schoolboy football action coming up on Saturday from both the SSFL and the Da Costa Cup competition. That's the rural area competition in the land of wood and water. Let's take a break. We'll be back with more. Well, we'll be back to wrap up the show. Interactive. Yo, it's a Bobo Banda if a school I go finish the league and beat now Which you I go collect the golden boat and be the favorite for the people Yo, me see fans a roll out all boat, be a flag for a vehicle Looking at the crowd, bus load of supporters from school and community too People nothing at the stand, some a little prayer, they want some of what you want TV too Country and turn your night for one reason It's a schoolboy football, run come, look one, look all 